Well, welcome back everyone to the Mod Showcase. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. I'll be your host this evening. My name is Leaf and it's so great to have you guys here. Before we do get started, 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 wow, my inner Boston's coming out. Uh, mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. If you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. But if you follow our instructions to a T, you guys will be perfectly fine. I hope. So welcome. <laughs> uh, you can already see we have some nice little statues over here. Uh, you can see we have a beautiful little Tylosaurus over there. We'll check them out in action in just a little bit. But this is like a small woodland creatures week. Uh, we have a really lot of beautiful mods to check out and some that were finally updated. So we'll check those out in a bit. Now, of course, we're going to start off over here with the little swimming badger. Oh, my God. So this, of course, is the American badger. These guys are based off of the badger rig. I know we were like wondering what the hell was wrong with the badger rig, but I need to give a huge shout out to Mr. NDP. Uh, he was able to help us out with like figuring out the prefabs for this guy. Uh, and we were finally able to release our badger mod. So that's just incredible to have. So this one is, of course, made by Level Wolf. She is finally returning. Uh, and she's bringing us so many beautiful, awesome mods to check out. This one in particular is the American Badger. Many people like to say that the European Badger is its polite cousin. And this guy's kind of like the redneck that lives in the woods. But these guys are super adorable. And I think they did an incredible job making them what they are really meant to be. Of course, the American Badger has these kinds of like little stripes on them. What I'm going to actually do is get rid of the water because I'm sick of them kind of just like trudging around in there um and here we go we can actually check these guys out so of course the american badger has these like stripes going throughout its body that's kind of what they're known for it's kind of like a little trick of the eye with their fur really beautiful animals i have actually a pelt of one um i i didn't kill one myself don't you worry i just it's the fluffiest damn thing you'll ever feel so even if they do look kind of mangy they are very fluffy which please keep that in mind they're adorable little animals i think level wolf did a bang up job on this guy maybe oh man maybe maybe i'll build for these guys in the future because they're so freaking adorable unfortunately they really aren't too common in zoos which is kind of sad because badgers are so incredible really do love them they're really scrungly little creatures also the model is incredible just all the small details in the head that really help it stick out from the european badger is incredible so huge shout out to level wolf over there we're gonna check out the japanese badger too because it's finally updated i finally fixed it now of course these guys are only found in japan they're their own species i think i i need to check that out yes they're their own species really really adorable creature these guys are a lot more brown than your typical badger um and they also have these weird little eye kind of um markings that kind of get faded out towards the back really cool creature and they're super adorable so if you guys are building a japan zoo these guys are perfect for that they also have a nice light fluffy tail really do love these guys um so that is that for that 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 uh can i say that one more time who knows uh this is our tropical mod of the day this is the victoria crown pigeon this one is made by mega game and rex and coded by me Really beautiful animal to begin with. Unfortunately, it doesn't really fly too well. It can somewhat fly when it jumps from one place to the other. But still, most of the time, these guys are relatively perched up in like trees and stuff like that. Very common in zoos. These guys are found from Papua New Guinea. A uh, really beautiful bright bird. These guys are just so pretty. I'm so happy with how he was able to handle the crown over here. Uh, unfortunately, it does... Actually, no, it doesn't really pop out anymore. So that's kind of cool. Um, really beautiful animal to begin with, though. Really happy with those feathers. They're super pretty. Amazing work, MGR. Always a pleasure to work with you. And yeah, just a nice, beautiful bird to really help brighten up your zoos. Love to see that. Now, moving on over here. This guy is the mink. Talking about pelts, these guys also were hunted for their pelts. This animal is based off of the... Asian small cloud otter, I want to say. Um, level wolf, I'm going to level with you. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Uh, I love this mod. I think you did an incredible job with the model. 
because I don't know how you're able to do it, but working all these tiny little details into these guys is just really incredible. My only complaint, my only gripe, is that I think the nose should be a little bit more pink. Uh, every single picture I've looked at with the American mink, it usually has a pink nose. Uh, that's literally my only gripe with this, though. I think you did an incredible job on the model. It really does stick out. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else you do. I know you've been working on a few other things, so can't wait to see that. American minks also have this little bit of white on their mouth. I think that's super adorable. And they also have an albino skin as well. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can keep rolling for them. And last but not least, we have a 100% leaf mod. Super excited about this one. I love this little guy. This is the Eastern Striped Skunk. Nope, this is the Eastern Spotted Skunk. Sorry. <laughs> it has some stripes on it. So this, of course, was a commission, which, by the way, my commissions, please DM me in case if you guys want any commissions done. Um, yeah, these guys are super adorable. Uh, when the skunk came out, I actually had a commission in the works that was for the Eastern Spotted Skunk. But the guy was like, you know what? Let's just, let's just wait a little bit. And then, yeah, that's how this mod came to be. And they're super, super adorable. I'm going to take out the tree over here just to... Oh, no. Okay. That kind of messed up everything. I'm going to take out that tree over there just so you guys can see these guys. So they do have two different skins. Uh, you have one that's a little bit more like of the dots. And you also have one that's more stripes, which I think this one is. Uh, if my game stops lagging, that is. Yeah, this one has a little bit more stripey kind of things going on. But this one has a little bit more of the spot evenness going on. They have so many awesome morphs. Just please go look at uh, Spotted Skunks. But this guy is super adorable and I'm super happy with this. The Striped Skunk is a lot more chunkier. It has a lot more of a longer snout. But these guys have a lot more of a smaller face. And they're just really adorable. Plus they have a little pink nose which I think is super adorable. Uh, kind of important for conservation work as well. They're vulnerable right now, so you see a lot of efforts. By the way, I love that Zoopedia picture. It's one of my favorites. Uh, there's a lot of, um, conservation efforts happening for these guys right now. Really, really interesting animal, so I hope you guys are able to read up about these guys a little bit more. Really, really awesome. Now, moving on over here, we got the big boy. You guys have probably seen that I've been working a lot with Jurassic World Evolution 2, and Giorno and Doc have brought it over to Planet Zoo, of course. This is the Tylosaurus. These guys are big and they're mean. So, of course, it looks nothing like the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Tylosaurus. That's because that's a mess up of a Tylosaurus. No offense to JWE, like all the devs over there. Listen, I know how Universal gets. I know how they kind of, like, want their dinosaurs to look big, mean, and scary. Uh, it's just not how I like them personally. But this guy is exactly how I would imagine a Tylosaurus to look. These guys are incredibly beautiful. Check this out. They have so many awesome morphs. Doc was able to provide so many of those for this. And yeah, this one is just a basic one, which I think is probably one of my favorites. Uh, it's just super beautiful. Just all the detail in the skin. If you get up nice and close over here, custom bump map, of course, or normal map, whatever you want to call it. Really, really beautiful. The mouth moves underwater, which is really cool. This is easily one of the most detailed aquatic mods you will ever have. Of course, like all aquatic mods, needs to go on land first. But if I even bring this guy to the land right over here, you can see that after he stays on here for a second, navigates he goes right back to the water, which is exactly how aquatic mounts work. Um, it's not that immersion breaking, trust me. But these guys are incredibly beautiful. What they also did was include a whole boatload of scenery. So of course we could check these guys out right down here. Oh my god, Leaf, you're going under the map. Yep, I have the borders turned off. Uh, so yeah, you have a whole bunch of different like uh, model poses really beautiful over here so you have like all the variants so there's a black variant and then you have like a smaller version of these guys you have this guy over here which is a bronze yep so it's kind of like a bronze kind of texture really awesome right there um this one over here is super beautiful what's that inspired by prehistoric planet so if you guys have ever watched that i'm assuming that it looks kind of like that one you also have a flexi color one i was like 
I was bothering Jorno to add one of these, and I think it paid off pretty well because now you can do like really cool things with this. Just look at this. Oh my god, you could have it be like a nice kind of like somber kind of concrete texture. And of course you have the basic Tylosaurus over here. Really beautiful. And of course you have the white one, which is a little bit of an albino one. I think it has like red eyes. Yeah. Uh, really beautiful animal. So that really goes to show just how many different color variations there are. It's a super awesome mod, and I really hope you guys give that one a shot. I think we have enough, like, paleo animals to really justify, like, an incredible paleo park, so I hope you guys are able to play around with that some more. But, yeah, that's really it for our showcase today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, my personal favorite has to go to Doc and Giorno's Tylosaurus. It really is incredible just how much detail they really squeeze in there, and they deserve all the love for that. But my favorite extant one is going to be the American Badger, and I think we'll actually end it on this little fella. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are always the best. Be sure to drop a little like and let me know your favorites in the comments down below. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next mod showcase. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.